Hello and welcome to today's uh, non-spoiler review of The Clone Wars Season 7, Episode 2, A Distant Echo. This is, we're going we're gonna to keep this very, um, I guess, compact because I don't want to do a lot of spoilers. I don't want to spoil this episode. I don't want to spoil a lot of the last episode. But this is clearly a middle chapter of a minimum three-part story. I wouldn't say you got left off on a cliffhanger, but it's it's as close to a cliffhanger as you can be without actually being a cliffhanger. And if you enjoyed The Clone Wars from seasons one through six, you're still going to enjoy this episode. You have the Bad Batch returning from the last episode, leaving on the mission with... Um, Anakin and uh, Rex. So it's good to see this continue at minimum with the three episode arcs like they used to for seasons one through six. It's it's just a middle story. There There's some action in it that, that I thought was pretty well done. You see a little bit more about what the Bad Batch can do and even so far as what uh, Wrecker the big strong member of the Bad Batch, it, you find out he's afraid of things, and it's it's nice to see from uh, an, from the outside perspective of clones actually being afraid of something. Maybe it's got a lot to do with their genetic deformities, but it was nice to see. Uh, we get a little bit more uh, Jedi action, which I think in the Clone Wars has always been a highlight. Um, one thing, uh, I'll try to say this without spoiling it, we get a little bit more, uh, uh, a little bit more, it's first time in season seven, we see Anakin Skywalker reach out to Padme Amidala. We get a little bit more about their, uh, their relationship, uh, from the lead into episode three, uh, Revenge of the Sith, and it looks like the outfit that she's wearing is the pregnancy outfit even though she didn't look like she had her baby bump the other thing that uh this top episode touches on is they don't flat out say who knows what when it comes to anakin and padme but it is clear that obi-wan knows at least something's going on and i am like very confident that Rex knows uh, a lot more than he's he has ever said. So we get good uh, character development for the Bad Batch and for Rex himself. We get uh, storyline development between Ob uh, the Jedi and and, uh, and Anakin and his fall, or essentially what leads into his fall. And overall, for a middle chapter of a, a minimum three part story, this was a very good. Um, installment for the Clone Wars. Now, if you prefer to watch your storylines uh, whole, hold off at least one more week until episode three comes out, so you can watch episodes one, two, and three together. Uh, they're gonna run. They each episode runs about twenty-four minutes, so you're looking at about an hour and twelve minutes ballpark for episode uh, the first arc. Not bad if you ask me, especially when it comes to uh, TV shows. When we talk about Game of Thrones being an hour long, or um, it's another big cool hip show. Uh, Watchmen, I believe, was an hour long. Mandalorian wasn't. Most of the time it hit about 40, 45 minutes. But when it comes to TV storytelling, it's kind of preferred. So, uh, with that being said, have you seen any of the Star Wars, uh, Clone Wars Season 7? If you have, go ahead and let me know in the comments below. Also, tell me, who is your favorite member of the Bad Batch? Um, so far, I like the Tech guy. I think, I think they call him Tech. So, so far he's my favorite. Um, and with that being said, go ahead and... Follow me uh, on social media. The links will be in the description below. And until next time, have a great night.